I'm, I think I'm going to have to give this one to myself. <laughs> good answer. Very good answer. Thank you. So what do you, you guys, as part of, you know, the cast, are you? Um, I'm a director. Now, working with these two was a little bit hectic? Kind of, but <laughs> most of the time, no. And it was really fun to be around them, and they brought such a positive energy, and they made filming much more enjoyable. That's good. I guess you guys will be going up there. Mr. Bacall next. Okay. And good luck, guys. <laughs> yes, I'd be the You can prime walk the idea. carpet, then go up the steps. Yeah, right. no, have fun. Yeah, yeah, ladies go first. Ladies go first. Ladies go first. No, no. <laughs> ladies go first. <laughs> Walchie, you go first. So, we're now joined by the cast and crew of Hit and Run. So, thematically this year, it seems like we've got a lot of movies dealing with automotive tragedy. Um, and I'm just wondering, if, you know, one or two of you would like to say something about what do you think sets your film apart from other movies about cars moving in directions and maybe, and or crashing into things? <laughs> so this was you great film shout out to Ryan Conlon uh, that was about mainly an accident driver's ed shout out to Griffin Wilkins uh, was mainly a comedy about learning to drive ours kind of blends those two themes together of an accident and the comedy of like learning to drive as uh, Tony me gets his uh, license so I think that really sets us apart from everyone it's a great mix of everything so kind of a dramedy basically yeah, yeah. alright nice so uh now, Mr. Riley, in real life, in terms of your personal driving skills, how accurate do you think the film represented those? I think very accurate, considering I could not drive. I could not drive legally for most of the filming of this movie, so I'd like to say it was very accurate. Now I'm a better driver. Unfortunately, we're not filming anymore. But you know. all right, well, excellent. Well, thank you very much, and uh, good luck tonight. Enjoy the evening. So you guys worked on the movie Hit and Run, right? Yeah. Yes, so what do you think, you guys are a sophomore independent film, so what do you think um, was the most difficult part about being um, a crew of just sophomores? I could not drive for the <laughs> filming of this movie, so I was driving illegally. Oh my God. And were there any, so in addition to that, um, be, because there were no upperclassmen, this was all your first time experiencing making a film, what was like some of those, what were some things that happened because of like your inexperience? Uh, well, we didn't, none of us were in the film class this year, so it was really just like um, on the spot, like learning everything on the fly, so that was probably the hardest thing, and, but it was really fun. Well, congratulations, guys. Wait, over here, over here, I have a question. What was it like working with Bill Rehill for your movie? I told him I took TDA, and he chirped me a lot for not taking Bill Rehill's, and uh, yeah, it was not fun. Strasha and Nicole Waters wrote our script and originally we had another script planned but it was too hard to film given that we weren't in the class so we read a couple more scripts and we ultimately decided Ava and Nicole's would be easier to shoot and it was also really funny and immediately we knew like the actors and the people we wanted to cast too. Great job guys, congratulations. Thank you. 